Well, hello and welcome to Glen ZB TV for Friday, the show that puts Glen ZB up your periscope. I'm bringing New Zealand to the world, both real and virtual, and I'm bringing it all back to New Zealand here. Boris, 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 what are you doing, Boris? We take you out to dinner, buy you a nice meal at an expensive restaurant. Um, we, we, you know, put on our nice clothes, we smell nice, uh, do all the right things, make the right moves, uh, you take us home to your apartment, and then kiss us on the cheek and wish us a good night. Boris! Seriously? How could you get us all hot and heavy like that? I mean, I don't I was down to just my socks, and now you're not going to follow through. It's a bit of a letdown. So who's it going to be instead? I feel like I feel like I've seen this guy somewhere before. This this is Michael Gove, so he's the, one of the new contenders. Um, I, I just I just can't help thinking I've seen. Somebody who looks like him before. No, I don't mean me. What about this guy? This is getting weird, isn't it? It's getting a little bit weird. <laughs> I had no idea until I did this that I was going to... Anyway, but is that guy that got... They look like they could... I know they don't look identical. What about... Hang on. Let's see if I can do this. What about this guy? This guy. Have you ever seen this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy all in the same place at the same time before? This is Penfold from Danger Mouse. If you if you don't know, Google it. Do some research. For goodness sake. Hey, oh, speaking of people teasing people, Marina, Marina Arakovic. Don't do this to Matt Brown. Please don't get him all worked up and down to his only socks. She's made it through to the third round of, of Wimbledon. And you know, believe me, I, I look, I want her to do well. I always want New Zealand sports people to do well. But I think we all know where this is going, except for some reason, even though we know where it's going, Matt Brown doesn't know where it's going. And I think he remains optimistic. Matt Brown is our sports anchor, by the way. So, it's, so we need to keep it real, and uh, not just about that, but uh, with Peter Snell's singlet that Tapapa was going to buy, uh, his his Tokyo medal-winning singlet, which just turned out not to be the one, apparently, uh, because he remembered it as being poly some kind of polyester blend, and the one that Tapapa nearly bought for one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Uh, is cotton. So anyway, uh, if you'll recall, uh, when, when the story first came out, I was prepared to sell some of my undies, uh, socks, knickers, singlets. Uh, I can assure you that all those items are the real deal. They, they are items I have worn, and you are welcome to them for the prices stated in that, in that podcast. I'll sign them if you want me to. And finally, cyclists! You're asking to be let back onto the footpaths. There's a petition going around, apparently, because it, it's illegal in New Zealand for cyclists uh, to cycle on footpaths. Uh, these are pavements uh, in, in America. Sidewalks, maybe. Uh, but yeah, footpaths here. We call them footpaths, not cycle paths. And I think that's why they made it illegal, just to clear up any confusion there. But now you want back on there. That's... That's fine. I'm prepared to let you do that. But whatever happens, do not stray from the footpath onto my lawn and leave, especially at this time of year when the ground is soft, and leave cycle tyre marks through there or I will hunt you down and run you down. That's fair, isn't it? That's not going too far. Did I just make a threat to kill on a public... Maybe maybe I did. Can, can I delete that? Oh, no, this is Periscope. It's already gone out. Bugger. Anyway, I am Glenn ZB. Uh, thank you for so much for having me up your periscope, in your headset. I'll see you back here again on Monday.